was digging around in the photo album, um, looking for, I don't know, interesting moments. Um, and I, I found these, these ones here, and this, this is from a protest um, at Auckland University. We had occupied the registry to protest against the rising of student fees and stuff like that. This is 1996. And as I was digging through these photos, I noticed that, um, I noticed that Manama Davidson was in the background. <laughs> so I messaged her, I was like, hey, I'm pretty certain that's you in the background. And she was like, yeah, that's me. I remember that, yeah. I ended up getting arrested and embarrassingly for me, my granddad was there. Um, yeah, which which was not a good look for me, to be honest, because I'm a uh, good island boy. I'm from Ngai Takoto and Ngapuhi on my mother's side, so that's right up north. Uh, and I'm from the island of Achu in, in the Cook Islands, so I'm Māori and Pacifica, tangata whenua, tangata moana. So this is my, me and my dad. My dad had the cool his hair back in the day. Actually tried to grow my hair like that once, didn't work. My parents had a traditional South Auckland wedding, and uh, that is my dad was a bouncer in the South Auckland pub and my mum was trying to get in without any ID. Uh, <laughs> my mum was part of that generation of people of Māori that migrated from from rural centres into, into places like Auckland, and my dad was part of that generation that moved over from the islands for better work and educational opportunities. As a child, I... I read a lot of books, I was a bit, I was a bit bookish. I really enjoyed um, being outside um, and out in nature as well. The, the time that really shaped my, who I am and who I think I am and how I connect uh, was when we moved back to the island. So we moved back to the Rarotonga when I was kid. Didn't spend that much time there, but enough time there for me to kind of cement um, in, in my mind who I was, uh, my connection to my people and what it means to be Pacifica here in Aotearoa. And this is a photo of my grandfather, Papa Tiriki Toyono, um, who is uh, amongst many other things, to record it all on, on our island, the island of Achu in Omanu, so I'm Achuan um, as well. Real proud to be um, Achuan. And yeah, my grandfather had a massive uh, impact on my life. He was a member of the Labour Party as well, so you can imagine we used to have some interesting discussions and debates. One of the reasons why I ended up at law school, because my granddad, he was like, you talk a lot, you ever thought about going to law school? And I was like, okay. I can do that. <laughs> the culture and values that were important to me um, came from my grandfather, um, my, my father's father. Uh, he was Tumu Kōrero on our island, so he was a knowledge holder and a leader within our community. And I always remember him as being a very impressive man. We'd go to these big island functions and he'd be up the front doing speeches and, and organising with our community. So he, he always impressed me as a, as a child and as a, as a young person. Um, so I have always tried to emulate his, his example. Um, he'd always tell me that. It's like, whatever you do, it, it should always be about the family. It should always be about the community. Uh, remember that it's not just about you, it's about about our community and it's about everyone. Um, and I also picked up a lot of my social, political, cultural perspectives from, from my mother. Uh, my mother took me along to oppose the Springbok tour in 1981. Um, so we were living in Auckland Central at that time as well, so we'd go on the marches and she'd explain um, what that was about. And that had a profound impact upon me as well. Sandman. I'm a bit of a big nerd, sci-fi nerd as well, so I like Mount Star Wars, Star Trek, all of that, all of that kind of stuff as well. Uh, yeah, this is one of my favourite family photos, uh, you know, the Empire Strikes Back takes over Palmerston North. <laughs> what made me settle down here in Palmy? Well, we came here and my wife said to me that we'll be here for three months, uh, so 15 years, three kids later, still here. <laughs> but if you talk to people in Palmy, right, it's... You just get caught in the vortex of this place. You know, you kind of, you talk to a lot of people, they're like, hell, when did you come here? Oh, I came here for two weeks, 20 years ago. Yeah, because probably the thing, well, the thing for me is I really like being in remote places, like rainforests, mountains, islands, wetlands, forests, that kind of thing. My aspiration is, uh, I mean, it's really basic. I want to be useful. Uh, I want to know that I'm making a making a contribution, um, and I, for me, it's the it's the richness of all those different connections and all of these different strands. For me, it's like it's like a, it's like a kete, right? It's like we've woven together this kete, which is about carrying our collective aspirations and our collective kaupapa. Um So for me, it's I want to contribute to that. I want to know that I am in there and I am doing and supporting all of that collective aspirations. It, it's something that. I think um, 
my grandfather would have wanted.